Hello and uh, welcome to this short video. I'm going to take five minutes, possibly, possibly six or seven, just to take you through the process of setting up a hydro herb kit. So here we are, we've got one here, it's an oregano. First thing we need to do is take a look at all the parts that are inside. So if you take a little dish, pour out the contents of the upper half of the kit. There we go. Pop that there. Take out the two wicks. You have your set of instructions here. Now inside your instructions there will be a small bag with some seeds. You need to put that to one side. We'll need that later. Um, I'll put the instructions out of the way as uh, I hope I know what I'm doing. So the first thing we need to do is have a look at what we have duplicates of. So we have two wicks, two uh, dehydrated Jiffy tabs, and of course, two bottles of hydroponic fluid. This is the nutrient solution. Now, the lid doubles as a coaster. So we'll put that to one side for a moment. These parts that we have two of, they're here so that we can, if we need to in the future, have another go. We can set it up again. So perhaps pop them in a little bag, put them in a the kitchen drawer, and if you need to, you can have another go. <clears throat> you can, of course, use other, other seeds of your own choice in the future. Elastic band, I'm hoping you can find a use for that around the house. Perhaps you're going to have some random bamboo sticks in the shed that need to be stuck together. <clears throat> the hydroponic fluid we'll just put to one side for a moment. There is enough there to keep you going for around about two years. So the very first thing we need to do to get the ball rolling is to take our jiffy tab, either one, doesn't really matter, and add water. We need to rehydrate our jiffy tab. Now this process is possibly the longest part of setting up the kit and it can take around about 10 minutes so we need to leave our jiffy tab in the, in the water and let it rehydrate to reach its maximum size okay now through the magic of editing Okay, so that's taken us around about eight minutes. It's at its maximum size. As you can see, it's increased in size quite markedly. Um, please do take the time to ensure that it is fully hydrated. Um, using it, if you, if you squeeze it and there are still hard areas, please leave it until it is soft all around. Um, putting it in when it's still hard can uh, impede the growth of the roots, but also uh, impede the uh, movement of the solution into the jiffy pellet, which is not something we want. So we'll just pop that to one side for a second and I'll show you how we set up the wick. Now, the easiest way to set up the wick is to take a pen Fold your wick in half, like so. Take the top half of your kit, pl sorry, place it at the right end. Take your pen and use it just to push the wick up through the neck of the bottle. And then pull it through so that you have a nice, you have a protrusion here of your wick. This will go into your reservoir and you have a nice length of wick looped at the top of the bottle. Hopefully you can see that quite clearly. Now at this point I'm going to need my base to stand upright because I'm going to need to support this. You take a few of the pebbles which you've decanted out into the uh, bowl here and place them into your 
top half. And then you need just to gently press down on this loop. I hope you can see that. So that it folds, so that you have a nice flat area there. Not too hard. You don't want to trap it. You don't want any harsh corners. But you just want to place, you might need a few more pebbles. You just want to make sure you have a nice potential for a nice flat surface area. Make sure that you've got a, a reasonable amount of surface area as the fluid is going to pass up by capillary action to the top part of the excuse me of the capillary matting and then onto the base of your jiffy pellet now before we take our jiffy pellet and put it in place i would advise that you take a nice sharp pair of scissors and use them to cut around this top layer we want as much surface area available to our seeds as possible so if we cut round, remove this top layer, there we go, and then we've got a nice layer of coir that's ready to be uh, used to grow our herbs. You place that on top of the capillary matting. Again, don't squeeze down too hard. Try and get it as central as you can. And then by using some of the smaller pebbles, go around and these will support the jiffy pellet in place, but also provide a nice aerated region just outside the jiffy pellet that the roots can grow into. And this way they'll get the maximum potential for contact both with air and with the nutrient solution that will be traveling up through our capillary matting, as you can see. Oh, just give them a little poke. There we go. There you go. I can't really tip that on its side to show you. I'll try my best, but you can see that they, they fit in all the way around and support the jiffy pellet in place and we'll hold it exactly as is. Again, providing its support, but also enabling the roots to grow into these aerated spaces, giving the plant much more air than it would usually receive inside the soil. You may want to keep a hold of the remaining pebbles. Um, again, there's, as I mentioned at the beginning, there are parts for you to have a second grow if you so desire. So we're approaching the end to be honest, we just need to add our seed. Now, every kit comes with enough seed for you to have a single grow. The idea is that ideally they should last you at least a couple of years while they're growing. And if we sent you any more, they would be out of date by the time that you would need them um, again. So I suggest you use a good proportion of the seeds that, you send, that we send you. Uh, potentially all of them and if you feel you've got too many plants growing all you need to do is cut them back so here we have somewhere between 50 and 100 oregano seeds and I'm just going to sprinkle them on to the top of our jiffy pellet just like this sprinkle them all around Try to get them spread out as you can. And there we go. Now the final part of the process is to add some solution. So we take one of our bottles, we break the seal. To the base of our reservoir, we add seven or eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you add more, it really doesn't matter. You can add 10 times as many and it wouldn't have an effect on the plant. So if you do feel at some stage during the growth that you'd like to give the plant a bit of a pep, 
feel free to add more drops. It's really not going to affect the plant and it certainly won't make it toxic in any way at all. So we fill our water level roughly to the line on the sticker at the front and add the top half. And that should hopefully germinate with around, within around 10 days. And all we need to do is keep an eye on the water level, as you can see, um, which on average will be around about every two to three weeks. In the beginning, it will take a lot longer as the plants will be very, very small. But you just need to top them up. And when you top it up, add a few more drops of the solution as per the instructions. Thank you very much.